Hey everyone, this one's a special one. We're trying to install the cracked version of Age of Empires 4 on the Steam Deck. I got a request by a viewer who really wanted to install this game and I asked him why because it's an RTS game and I think you really need a keyboard and mouse. It's really hard to play on controls, but he really insisted. So I did some research for him. You need the Linux rules version. Uh, I think it's a repack. I'm pretty new to this as well. So um, Linux rules uh, repacks, they are specifically for Linux. So that's why it works so well with Steam Deck. But Linux rules repacks are uh, one, they're really hard to find. And two, uh, there's very little seeds. So it takes really long to download. If you can download it, sometimes they just uh, don't download because no one's seeding them. So uh, if you ever stumble across one, and you want to install, or well, here's a guide. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the file is something .sh, so it's a Linux inst package file. So uh, you need to right click it and then click uh, in permissions, click is executable. And then right click it, uh, go to actions. I'm looking for it now because I'm pretty new to. Go to Actions and then Run in Console. And then you should see that the installer pops up. And then there's an installation path. Um, it just says File System for me, so I was pretty confused where to where it installs. So I'm gonna find a way to change it, and then it's other. And then select the path. So I'm gonna put it in Home. And then games directory, and then I'm gonna add a directory called AOE for. So just make sure it's I know where it is. And then begin installation. So I'm gonna fast forward this part. It's gonna take a little bit. Okay, so we're back. It's just finished installing. And what do you do now? Okay, so I'm going to go to the folder. So home, games, AOE4. And then it created another folder. So I just I could have just put it in games. And then there's a start file. So this I'm going to right click. And then I'm going to go to actions and then add to steam you need to have this plugin uh, I'll show you how to install it later um, so I've added it to steam so with the plugin so I'm gonna close steam and then I'm gonna relaunch it to see if it's there Go to the library and then see if it's there. It should be called Start, I guess. It's not called a Age of Empires. Is it this one? Nope, not this one. I think it's Start because we didn't change the name. Yes, there's a Start there. So we can change the name to Age of Empires 4 so we don't get confused. So let's change it right now, Age of Empires 4. And we don't need to do anything else because it's already installed as a Linux, so we don't need to change the compatibility, uh, force compatibility with Proton. Okay, let's try to launch it, see if it works. It's running, it's not bouncing us back, so it should be okay, I guess. Yes, we're in.
Okay. So that was pretty simple. It's just finding the Linux rules repacks. That's the hard part, I think. So I'm using keyboard and mouse. I'm on desktop mode. I don't think this game supports controller. I'm, I'm not sure. I never thought... Oh. Okay, we don't have a server connection. I guess that's normal because we're playing a cracked version. Can we play single player? Might not. Is this a multiplayer game? I think they have campaign, right? Okay, I guess there is a single player mode. Subtitles, yes. Okay, brightness. Driven from their homes. Alright, it works. So I think we have to try it in game mode. I think that's our goal. We're not gonna play in desktop mode, I guess. So let's just quit out of it and let's see what we do in game mode. This game is brought to you by Linux rules. Yeah, this is the Linux rules repack. Okay, so let me show you before uh, we go into the game mode part. Let me show you how to add to Steam the, the plugin. I'll show you now. Okay, so in desktop mode on your browser, go to this website, I'll, this GitHub page actually. I'll give you the link in the description and then go to the download part, download the script and you should get a uh, add to steam.sh script and then um, don't, I messed up here. I just uh, right clicked it and then action and then uh, running console. That's the wrong way to do it. You need to make it executable first. So that's why I messed up and I was a little bit shocked here why it didn't work. But yeah, just go back to it. Go right click properties and then in permissions tab, take the is executable and then right click again, actions and then run in console. Yeah, there you have it. So once it's finished downloading, uh, it's a really quick one. Then you can just press enter to exit. And then you can just right click uh, files and then you'll see actions. There's be an add to steam script plugin, whatever you like to call it. So that's how we do it. Okay, so back in game mode. First thing we're going to do, change the artwork. So I'm going to use official artwork since this is an official game. You can use others if you want, but this is how I like to do it. Using the official artwork. So let's just download this artwork, make everything look legit and good. Let me know in the comments, would you play this game on a handheld? I don't think it'll be a good experience. Like it, It's always been a keyboard and a mouse game, I guess. I'm not even sure if the controls work, to be honest. Okay, let's start the game.
Okay. The controls aren't working at the moment. Can you skip this part? I'm not sure. No. I'm using keyboard and mouse. I don't want to... I don't want to tweak the controllers. I'm, I don't think I'm going to play this game anyway, so... But yeah, let's just start it up with keyboard and mouse and see how it runs. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here on England's south coast. His army I used to like uh, Age of Empires 1 and 2 and then after that I didn't, and I didn't play 3 and I didn't play 4. I guess I grew out of RTS games. Back then they were really like, uh, like did you play Settlers and uh, Command and Conquer? Oh, online. So does this pop up every time? That would be annoying. Can we get, oh you can get past it. Oh it's loading. And then uh, I guess it checks for online somehow. Okay. Okay. But why are the graphics so bad? William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans. Is, it, is this how it is or, or is it the settings? But in his path stood rebel towns. Okay, you can skip it. Okay, let's skip this. Let's see if we can change the settings. Okay, resolution. Okay, so we're at we're at the lower resolution. Is it because we have um, the OSS or FSR? Okay, maybe I turn on FSR on the Steam Deck. Does that help it? Feels it 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 made my resolution lower, so I guess FSR would upscale it and make it look nice. Let's see. Alright, it looks seems better. Oh no. He would take the town's No, it looks pretty bad. Can we just change it to normal resolution? Yeah, I think we're gonna adjust it just the resolution since FSR is not working I guess. Oh, that's better. Not great, but still better than before. Alright, let's just go and try some of the game. I don't think I'll go very far on this game. Let me know if you like this game and you plan to play it. I guess you've already played it on the PC, but would you play it on the Steam Deck? Would you play it on the handheld? So for the viewer that requested this, uh, I finally got it to work. So you could follow these instructions. I think the hardest part would be for you to get the file, the Linux rules file. It's not an easy find, so yeah. Good luck with that. So I've captured Middlethorpe. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army. Okay, so I think I'll leave it here. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.